And a very, very warm welcome. I mean, just, just look towards the back of the room. April, Friday afternoon, we're in full swing. Everyone's hectically busy, and there is people taking time out of that busy schedule to spend it with us and celebrate. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's, this for me, this time, it's, it's really goosebumps stuff. I, I have to reevaluate what, what I would say is extraordinary. Because what this group has achieved is, is I, haven't, I haven't seen it come together like this ever. Okay? And there are regulars at the back here. They, they come and hear me talk and you come to these sessions and support your delegates. And we go through stuff and we evaluate, we look at ourselves, we look at so many different things. And as this happens, you share with each other, you share your personal stories with me of trials and tribulation. And here you are standing strong and leading from the front, really giving meaning to being the CEO of your own life. Absolutely. And I have yet to see a group and then you've set the benchmark that brought most of the stuff that we have up here against the wall to life for yourselves and for each other in terms of how you supported each other. Absolutely amazing. The leaders that you have sent us, you know, and, and every group has its own dynamic uh, and setup and configuration, um, but there was something magic happening here, all right? And it added so much value uh, to you, to myself, and to those around you. And it has a direct knock-on effect to our lives. And you know me talking about the seven areas, and of course, one of them being work, and you're here, you know, to enhance your leadership skills, but you're leaders in your own right already. And the check-in sessions we had, you know, the feedback I got from you, from your managers, from HR, was nothing short of amazing, okay? I can see change, and um, people are lapping, up, lapping it up and applying it. The most important part, of course, is manifesting it and, and doing something with it. Um, so, I'm so proud of you. Um, and just commend you for you know, a couple of words up here like courage. It takes enormous courage to get up these days every morning and face life. Life's challenging. It comes from all sides and there's uncertainty in many areas. It's that VUCA principle we talked about, you know, it's complex instead of simple. And 20 years ago we could think ahead five years and had a degree of certainty. Now we have to really hedge for all sorts of risks, okay? Um, but here you are, all right? And this being a part of your journey and there is purpose of why you are here. And there is certainly purpose moving forwards and the friendships you've made and the contacts you've made keep supporting each other, okay? The yes you can, you took to another level. The getting your own house in order first, you took to a different level, okay? And especially working with the challenges. So I wish you, from our heart, all the very, very best in moving forward, wherever life takes you. And practice all those good things, like, you know, paying it forward. And um, count your blessings, be grateful and create environments where others are able to shine their light and come to their full power as well. And that leads me to rededicating to you my favorite poem. And I want to read it to you. <coughs> and you know it from phase one and you also know who wrote it and who made it famous. It's by Marion Williamson, A Return to Love. And uh, Mr. Mandela used it in 1994 at the inauguration speech. But this is for you, okay? Let's just get my eyes. <laughs> All right. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? 
You are a child of the universe. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in everyone. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fears, our presence automatically liberates others. And this is you guys. Well done.